Apparently, this is a shovel, not a spade. Today, we are gonna try and put in a composting toilet and have a little teepee. And Jay's got all the goods because he does this forest school thing. I think this is the exact kind of tarpauling I need to get to cover over the garden area to store the wood. I can do without water because I can buy some bottled water in for now. And I can do without Sharon because I can go to the leisure center, which is down the road. But I can't do without dry wood because without heat, I'm stuffed. See you later, Gertie. Gathering a bit of bracken. Out of stuff you've seen in the woods, is this the nice, best stuff? Light, dry, fluffy, crispy. At home, I use paper. Is that the similar yeah, sort of thing? Exactly. What did yeah, you call this? Really dry. I call that punk when you can just pick it off with your fingernails and it's almost gone rotten. Standing dead wood like this. I oh know. <laughs> like that. Uh, uh, is the best stuff because it's still dry, but it's punked up to the max, ready to get toasted. And now I'm going to learn how to put the teepee up with Jay because I'm pretty sure we're going to be having some teepees here up in the woods because it's uh, well, exactly the right thing really, isn't it? Santa Claus has arrived. Oh, you need the gravy back for stuff like that. The whole teepee is just in that bag. Step one, pegs. So you use this string to figure out the size of the radius. Ask me where it hurts. Oh, Step two. I'm not so sure. Canopy. But can be no Boom. Oh, Iron Man. That comes together quick. Or do we go in? Right, in, in. Socket. Man, have a look. It's going all the way up. It's taking shape. Flipping massive. Yeah, it makes you look like a little kid. And I've never said that in my life before. Just pull these straps. And as Jay just called it, the canvas cathedral. This is story time corner, mate. Nice space, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. This is the wood burner. It's flipping heavy, but worth it. Oh mate, it looks like a flux capacitor. <laughs> Look at all that. Oh, the chimney. Oh, that's a horrible noise. The chimney's just inside it. <laughs> Jay's saying we need to cut down this punk a bit with an old axe. I know some of the purists out here aren't gonna like this, but this is basically Vaseline and Jay's just giving it a little dab which means that on a windy day or tricky day, that is really, really easy to light with a flint or with anything. And I know some people just wanna like rub two sticks together and make a fire, but I'm glad to know that little hack just in case I get stuck, cause I don't wanna be stuck out here with no warmth. I need that heat. So this is a fire striker. I use the blunt side of the knife as I didn't do a minute ago. One strike wonder, yeah? Yeah. I don't know about the one strike wonder. <laughs> Nearly had it. Ah! Oh. We can just edit out the other seven ones, yeah? <laughs> Beautiful, now put a bit of your punk on top. A bit of punk. Yeah. Boom! Ah, oh, look at him, he's just piping away now. It's gonna get nice and toasty in here. We could be sleeping in there tonight, couldn't we? Easy. I don't know what your wife would say about it, but... I know, obviously, wood is renewable, I don't know about the pollution that wood gives off. I'd like to learn about that. So Jay found us a felled silver birch. I'm going to try and cut myself a chode mallet and uh, he's going to show me how. So we're going to make a little cut all the way around the edge, just the depth of the blade in, and then we can chop the little side bits off. Bow saw with a raker, raker blade. blade yeah. for, specials for green wood. Let the saw do the work. <laughs> You've got a whole blade there, and use it. I'm going to need a nap after this. Come on, keep pushing. <sighs> Mate, you're like, I feel like I'm on boot camp. Well, a little baby could have done this by now. <laughs> Go on then, big J. Oh yeah, yeah, you're not getting stuck, are you? Oh yeah, it's all twisted. Somebody's got the blade all twisted. Yeah, I bet they are. That is looking a lot better, to be fair. There's a knot there. I know! <laughs> Maybe just work around the knot. Bear Grylls wouldn't have done that. Oh, oh, it's just magical. I mean, that was flipping hard work. I, I can't see any difference between his mallet and mine. Okay, I can, but I'll finish it another day because we are gonna try and make 
a bit of a roof with this tarpaulin to keep us dry. And then we're gonna try and get on and make the toilet seat out of those pallets. Yeah. This is pretty much the exact right size. See you later. I think the water is gonna run from those two top corners to this corner, which means that I should be able to collect the water from here and the roof into two water butts that I hope to put there. I just had an idea that I'm more than happy with, which is using this extra rope as a washing line under the canopy, over the fireplace, so even in the cold and the wet, I can still be drying my clothes. And what the hell is this, Jay? The Mushman. Oh mate, oh, that didn't work. That's such a yanker. Why do you always yank away at things? I'm sorry. Just do it gently. <laughs> 15 love. 15 all. <laughs> Pallets sorted. We're thinking similar shape to the actual seat that I'm sitting on. That's quite comfortable, good height. Boom, there's the base of the pooper. Now we're doing the sides. There's a toilet seat in the hut and it goes in a bit of a tear drop shape. That should be all right. Straight into a screw, the one place we thought we'd be safe. We have a loop. I'll keep my trousers on for now for you guys. Oh, that works. Now this is a loo with a view. I could be here all day. I could literally stay here all day. Guys, that is it. It is architected. I just have to finish it off tomorrow. Jay, thanks so much for coming down, man. You've totally sorted me out. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>